Hey there, um, my name is Nicole Vaughn and I've been coming to Freedom for a little over a year now. Um, I actually got in contact with Pastor T. We, um, I say we, me and my family have had quite the year um, with just many different things and I've been fighting God for a long time to tell my story and share my story um, with others. It's definitely very personal and a little uncomfortable and I just felt God was pushing me to share with as many people as I could um, this perception of perfection. Um, I got in contact with Pastor T because I feel like God just kept pressuring me and I kept telling him no and that I didn't want to share um, again because of how uncomfortable I was and the fear of judgment um, again from that perception of perfection and so finally I did get in contact with him and it was probably the most freeing decision that I've made but again also really out of my comfort zone so I uh, found out in November of 2019 that I was pregnant with my third baby girl and before that actually happened we had had a lot of no's in our family from putting our house up for sale and um, contracts falling through to big life changes with careers and things like that and that year just felt like it could have been the best year of our lives but we just kept getting told no in every aspect um, we had a at that time 13 14 month old who was a really hard baby she was sick a lot she didn't sleep i didn't sleep um, and i was probably at the highest stress level i'd ever been and then november came and um, i found out that i was pregnant and as much as i wish my reaction was not what it was um, i just fell into the floor and i cried for hours um, i felt terrible for my husband because he didn't know what to do um, I felt terrible and guilty because I was not happy and it was just almost immediate after finding that positive that I just completely displaced myself, that I disconnected myself. I didn't even want to believe it was true. I immediately emailed my doctor. Um, I convinced myself that the pregnancy didn't exist. I didn't want it to exist. I didn't want it to continue. Um, I looked up things that I'm not proud of, I looked for options, and that's not at all who I am or who I feel like the, the Christian person that I've grown up, I've grown up in the church, I knew that that was not the decision I should be making, but when I say outer body experience, I feel like I was just taken away from myself and so disconnected, and it was probably the deepest, darkest spot I've ever been in my life, um, the lowest of low. and. And, I, and you just kind of felt the, the negativity just keep pulling and pulling and pulling. And I remember that it was on a Friday and um, I did not want to go to church that next Sunday. We've been coming here and I just told my husband I got up and I told him I wasn't going. And he said, yes, you're going to church. And that was when um, Freedom had started with their partnering for um, the Christmas time and the Crisis Pregnancy Center was part of that. And in the service, I kept feeling like Pastor Key just kept talking to me and talking to me. And I, I was mad. I was mad at God. I was mad at myself. I was mad at my husband. I was mad at the whole world, and I didn't want to listen. And then towards the end of the service, again, the Crisis Pregnancy Center um, was televised on the screen. And at that point, I just... I just ha I felt like I needed to walk away and I didn't want to come back to church again the next week and my husband said, no, we're going. And so we went and I just remember thinking, God, I know that you're trying to talk to me, but I don't want to listen to you right now. I don't want to feel those feelings. I want to feel numb and I want to be numb because I don't want this. This is not what I wanted for my life. You're, you're ruining my plans. And as I look back on it, you just keep hearing my, 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 my. And again, that perception of perfection. My family, you know, we, you know, looked at like we're we're these perfect beings. Like you're young and you have a nice house and you have great jobs and you have two beautiful baby girls and you should have everything and you should feel so happy and that there's nothing wrong with your life except for people who have that perception. We do go through those things. I did have a negative in my life. I didn't want this pregnancy. I 
contemplated ending my pregnancy. And again, that's not something that I'm proud of and not something that I really want to share. But I feel like God put me in this situation to speak out and reach out to people who are going through things that they, they're not proud of and that no one would expect for them to be going through. But I kept coming to church and Pastor T kept talking to me and he didn't know he was talking to me. And I feel like God used him as a vessel just to speak right to me. And I just remember finally sharing very much later in my pregnancy, sharing with my family that I was pregnant. And it was like literally as if God had just swooped down and pulled the negativity, Satan, whatever was happening within me. And I just felt overwhelming peace. I felt that God was going to provide. It was in such a time of desperation. I feel like I didn't have anything left to give. Like I couldn't be a mom to three babies, that I couldn't be the wife that I needed to be, the teacher that I needed to be. I felt like if anything else was happening in my life that I just was not going to be good enough. And instead of fighting for that, I just wanted to give up. And I had never felt that in my life before. And it was the first time and I finally felt connected to people who struggle and I feel like God put me in a position to say you may have never felt this in your life before but this is what other people are going through this is real feelings people's lives people at at their bottom and if you just surrender to me I will completely take your worries away and God had this beautiful pregnancy for me I had a wonderful delivery um, after having a very scary delivery with my first one um, Everything just couldn't have been better and God has provided again and again and again and he's provided security and I can't imagine my life without this baby. Um, she's literally changed my world. Having this pregnancy has changed the way that I look at people going through really hard times. It changes the way that I look at people who seemingly are perfect, whether they're perfect online, whether they're perfect in person because none of us are perfect. We all go through things. and. I'm learning that that's okay. It's okay for me to feel down. It's okay for me to hurt because if I use God as my strength, as I, if I just surrender to Him and His will, then He will be my strength. I needed to stop saying my plan, my wants, and my needs and let God move in my life the way that He wants to. And as I've surrendered to do that, I have felt an overwhelming peace and through that, I feel like sharing my story, I finally feel comfortable enough saying, I made these negative decisions. I was taken away from who I was, but God provided and restored after I surrendered. And I feel like that's all he wants of all of us, to love, surrender, and allow him to work through our lives and use us as vessels for him. In March, I attended the Good News Girls Women's Conference and um, not something I would normally go to, but I was told I should go, and we did. And I um, walked past a jewelry stand um, called the Vintage Sparrow, and I saw this piece, and it just really spoke to me, and um, it was powerful. And I've worn it pretty much every day or any time I go out, and it says, She will not be moved. And I, it was the only one I saw, and I thought that that was meant for me. And I had instant tears because I knew that God placed this baby girl in my life for a reason, and that she wasn't moved, and that she was here. Um, and another thing that just kept me going through the whole nine months was um, the song about there will be a victory and the battle belongs to the Lord. And I just remember thinking as soon as she was born um, that she was my victory, that through God's story and through his love that I was going to share this and that this was going to be for him and that she was a visual of the victory that can be anyone's through salvation and surrender to the Lord and that's that's the story that I want to share that that we don't have to be perfect that we have a plan and it's through God and through God all things are possible and that he can create victories for us.